hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing another exciting dish today i will be doing um broccoli and cauliflower rice and i'm gonna add a bit of carrot in it so um i'm gonna begin first by showing you what i use to do my broccoli and cauliflower it's um this hand held blender or grinder or chopper whichever way you want to call it it's um this brand and i bought it on amazon yeah so you just watch me and you will see what i do it have this um cut a bit inside of it just basically i have my broccoli my cauliflower i just chunk them up i don't have to cut them i just chunk them up put them inside of it i like to cut off the bit um stem bit yeah it's already washed as you can see and i'm just adding it inside the blender here Now I'm going to chop it. I'm going to have the rest of it inside. The longer you chopped it is the smaller it um, becomes like rice grain basically. Now I have um, a bit of carrots that I tried just to add the color. I'm going to put this inside of it and then blend it all together. nice and chopped so this is what it looks like after it chopped this can see as it looks like rice yeah so I'm gonna put this aside until I'm ready to use it because I'm gonna cook um, some fish fillet which I clean and have here is white fish fillet let me get rid of this off the way So today, I'll be using olive oil. It's um, olive oil with chili. So I'm going to do the fish first. So um, start by eating the saucepan. Just have Where's my measuring spoon. I'm just basically going to add one spoonful of the scoop of the olive oil to the saucepan. One spoon. To that, I'm going to add a bit of um, garlic. Add a bit of garlic which I already chopped. Chopped it real small. Shimmy away in the pot. One onion here, which I'm going to chop in chunks. garlic is like literally burned in the pot so to this I'm gonna add the onion a 
turn the heat down, the flame down. And to this, I'm gonna add a bit of some fire. Yeah, it's um. Let me show you what it is. It's called some fire. It's a very salty kind of vegetable, so that's why I'm adding it to it now. So I know the amount of salt to put later. So it's not a lot because in one packet you get like three, four servings. So you don't need a lot in what you're cooking. So I'm adding this to it. I'm just doing this to um, not like fully cooked it like what we call al dente because I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to cook the fish and then pour this on top of the fish so you get that nice flavor from it. Then I have a bit of kale. Which I'm just gonna add to it in here. I don't like the chunk bits, so that's why I'm taking the chunky bits out. This is really nutritious. I've um, tried it before and it's really, really nutritious. So to this, I'm just gonna put this aside now into container which I'm gonna add to the fish later. In the same sauce pot that I used to do the mixture, I'm gonna just add the fish fillet. There's no need to put oil inside of it. Yeah. It's a non-stick pot. Yeah. So they're in the pot. Now I'm going to add a bit of rock salt. One, two, three. Because as I told you before, the sunfire is salty, so you don't want to be adding too much salt. Then I'm going to add a bit of ginger to the fish. You can have ginger according to your taste. For me, I like lots of ginger. That's maybe too much flavor, but it's okay for me. Then I'm gonna have a bit of garlic salt. I know I put garlic, um, fresh garlic, but it's just had a little bit of garlic salt to it. Not too much, yeah. So the fish is shimmering away in the pot. It's not sticking to my pot, as you can see, I'm just moving it around. And this fish, I will let you know, doesn't take long to cook. It cooks like in no time. Really nice pot of fish. To this fish now, I'm gonna add that. No, I'm gonna add some pak choy. Yeah, they're all washed already, and I'm not gonna cut the pak choy. I'm just gonna put them all inside of it. Just put them over the fish, line down like that. You can see 
that's it I did that pak choy I'm adding a bit of spinach which is washed already because I done my preparation we are washed everything before and And to that, the one I did before, I'm just going to add it on top of it. It's simmering and low heat. So I'm just going to give it about five minutes on the cooker and then I'll start to doing the broccoli and cauliflower rice. So see you in a minute. Okay guys, so the fish is um, ready, done, it's cooked. So now it's time to do what you've been waiting for. That's the broccoli and cauliflower rice. So to the saucepan again. This time I'll be using a bit of coconut oil to give it lots of flavor. My favorite oil. Using this spoon. You can see the amount I have just one, just like half of this spoonful. I don't have to wait for it to get hot so now I'm gonna add my already chopped broccoli cauliflower with a bit of carrots For um, taste for seasoning, I have some dried thyme here. I'm just going to use just a little bit of the um, dried thyme. A bit of garlic powder. And be warned, you need to do this on low heat. Two squirtings of this um, sea salt. One, two. Because I don't want it to be salty. Stir it on low heat. I just turn the heat just one notch up. leave it there to simmer for approximately three minutes now my rice is ready the next time you see it it's gonna be on a plate so this is what it looks like The next time you see this, it's going to be on a plate. So 
So this is my broccoli and cauliflower rice on a plate. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.